Hey, Katrina Cromlick from Inspired Spectrums here, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to encourage your student to look at you more, or eye contact. Um, eye contact is a very important life skill that we all use all the time. You're looking at me, I'm looking at you. Um, it's a skill that a lot of people sort of associate with paying attention, although that's not necessarily true, but it does show that you are a confident person. We see that all the time. We also use eye contact to tell us information about another person, what that person might be thinking, what that person might be feeling, um, what the sort of social appropriateness is of our surroundings. So eye contact is actually extremely helpful. But it's also pretty difficult for a child with autism. It tends to be one of the things that we see that they don't do as often. Probably because you get so much information from eye contact. We already have a child here who's um, overwhelmed sensory-wise, and then we have eye contact, which gives us so much information about another person. You can see why it might be a little bit difficult for them to look. However, it's a skill that we need to work on whether they want to or not because it's really helpful in our world today. So, the best way to, to help a child with eye contact is just practice. The more they look, the easier it'll become, the more they'll be able to integrate all the information, um, and the longer they'll look and the more exciting it'll be. So we just help them practice. So there's lots of ways to work on eye contact indirectly without requesting it. Um, just the first is, to get yourself at a position that they can easily look at you. So don't always be standing up. You want to get down on the floor and you want to be at or below their eye level so that it's easy for your student to look at you. So get on those knees. You're going to get used to bending around. Get a tiny little chair for yourself. Get on the floor. Um, the other thing is, is to do all sorts of things that are going to naturally draw attention to your eyes. So if you're offering your child a toy, Bring it up to your eyes. Hey, sweetie, do you want this? Here you go. Bring it right there so that your eyes are front and center. Um, play games where the focus is on your eyes. So perhaps you guys are going to do a squeeze and you're going to give a squeeze. Maybe you put a sticker or you draw a little, um, with face paint, you draw a little button right in the middle of your forehead and they have to push that button in order to get a squeeze. And that's a natural way to look at your eyes. Um, glasses. Maybe you already wear glasses, or maybe you want to bring in some. You go to the dollar store, um, you can get reading glasses really cheap. Just pop out the lenses or different sunglasses, make it exciting. Uh, a game I like to play is like you're giving squeezes or tickles or something, and achoo! The glasses fall off, and then somebody has to put them back on. So that's, a, that's an easy way to encourage eye contact. Um, and then, of course you want to celebrate. Celebrate eye contact. And celebrate in a lot of variety of ways because the celebrations are exciting to our children once again. So as you're playing, even if you're playing something else, you know, feel free to remember to celebrate as, you know, you're running around and chase and they give you a look. Oh, thank you, honey. You know, the more sincere the celebrations are, the better. That their heart felt, then great. Um, even if you don't want to do a verbal celebration because you're in the middle of working on language, then just truly take that moment to appreciate it yourself because, again, they can feel that love and energy and the more we focus on their wonderful looking, the more they will look. So um, that's a great thing. The other thing is to just be animated ourselves, okay? So we we don't work a whole lot on nonverbal communication, although we can, but because children learn so much about nonverbal communication by looking at us, it's really helpful if they're first looking at us. But we do teach nonverbal communication by the way that we are exaggerated with our bodies. So you, when you're working with a child, in order to help them process a lot of the ways that, that we communicate through body language um, and through our face, it's really helpful to do those things exaggeratedly. So... <gasps> Super surprise, or oh, sad, or mm, maybe that's angry, you know, whatever it is, use your face to really animate it, and um, that will be teaching them, that will be teaching your child about um, nonverbal skills, but it will also encourage your child to look at your face because it's much more interesting if your face is doing a lot of crazy things, as you may have noticed while I've been talking to you, than if you're just sitting here talking the whole time, no matter what they're doing, just being monotone and just looking at them. So the more fun you're having, the more fun you'll have, and the more your child will want to look at you. So, have fun!